Good morning, everybody. Drew and I are out on a beautiful North Dakota pothole this morning. I actually rode by this on the first day I was out here and saw, I don't know, probably close to a thousand ducks on it the first morning. And so we went and asked permission two days ago. The landowner was extremely nice, he said, go ahead, have a crack at them. And uh, so this morning we came in here a little bit, probably a little bit later 30 45 minutes after shooting time to try and let these birds get out to feed uh, i think some a good bit of the birds that are using this were are roosting and loafing in here there's also birds coming in here just to feed but we wanted to you know not mess up anybody's field hunt if we could so we just sat and watched them up in the truck and once they started filtering out we drug the kayaks down here and now we are paddling over to the west side of the pothole got a west wind today there's this perfect little cove back in here that the birds have just been stacked in every time we've scouted it we're gonna set up kind of right on in the mouth of the cove and uh yeah see what we can get into today there's been a little bit of everything in here mallards pintails canadas uh, even saw a couple speckle bellies this morning Look at that, mallards in the decoys. Circling around, Drew, if you got your gun. Let's get set up. Ah, nice and muddy, a little sweaty, but we are all set up. Hide is pretty good. I'm gonna leave this open for the time being, but if they're working out in front of us, I'll push some cattails in front, but they're kind of working from our right right now. So I think I should have good enough cover here. Drew's just five, 10 yards that way. And uh, we already got birds working. Yep. Pintails, all pintails. Yeah, they're right over top. Come on. Get ready, these we might get these two drakes. Those are like all drakes. I don't know who shot it either. I think it was you. I didn't really feel like I was on it. Good job. He came out of nowhere. Yeah, dude. He did it right. Oh yeah, pretty old green head. God dog it. <laughs> this stuff is literal quicksand. I 
Oh wow. Right here. Kill it. Good shot. Oh, I'm gonna hit him again. Right Yep, that's his younger brother there. Greenhead's doing it right over the decoys. We already got two in the first 10 minutes we've been set up. I got him. I think that was me. Yeah. Oh, that's a longer walk. That one's gonna suck. Wow, look at all the ducks behind us. Yeah, he's tiny. Definitely a first year bird. Greenhead number three. Young one there. I think he flared off. I don't know, either me or Drew. Or, yeah, Drew pulled up. So, a little bit of a longer shot. I should have crushed him on the first one. But we got him. That mud is not, nothing to play with, though. What? <laughs> oh, there was another Drake. What did you get? Another mallard? Yeah. There was another Drake though. Those three up above them were doing it too. I didn't even see the two below. Alright. Oh shoot. That was a bad idea. I stood here for way too long. Oh yeah. Fat old green head. These should be some good pluckers. Get back in. Big duck to our right. Susie Q. Let her be a live decoy.
Oh shit, hit that one again. I can't, I'm out. I need a hair. Good shot. Nice double. Let's go. Big old green head here. No way! No way! Let's go! Holy! No way! Wait, I oh. wonder if that one's banded too. <laughs> Let's go check! Let's go! Oh my gosh! Dream bird! Oh. I've wanted to shoot one of these for so, so long. <laughs> Let's go! Square, there's something so weird about bands. It's like every time I've ever been to pick up one, and maybe you just think it every time. But I was like, man, it'd be cool if this bird was banned. This is shaping up to be one of the most incredible hunts we've been on. Yeah. And I mean, talk about the icing on the cake. Oh. Nah. That bird. <laughs> he did. Uh, I was on him too. You were? <laughs> yeah. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, yeah. Hit him again. Good shot. What was that, can? Oh. I'm done. On mallards? Nice. Bunch of ducks. Oh my God. You didn't even let him get up. Yeah, I'm not gonna let him get up. In this mud, you're crazy. I also had one shell in my gun. That, I've never heard that sound come off Mallard's wings before. Oh man, I have. Not like that. I mean, I've heard them, a big flock of them, but that was one bird. It sounded like 20. Greenhead number three, first water swat of the day. Not ashamed about it at all. This mud is brutal and he did it perfectly. Just, I think this pocket right here is a little bit too small. Probably should move these canvas backs out, but this stuff is so brutal that I really don't want to have to slog through it any more than we need to. So I think we got enough birds. All I need is two more mallards and we both need our bonus duck. Oh, my whistle had butthole mud on it. Oh, we got two out front doing it. <sighs> How far? Which one's a drake? Well, I can't shoot across you. Good? Yep. Ooh. Landed a little far, but Definitely still in range. This might be the worst mud this is bad. I've ever been in. It's just so sticky. This is 
It's worth every step of it though. Yeah, I know. It's always the best spots, it's the hardest ones to get to, it seems like. Yeah, let's go! He was just like, I don't know, he was in slow motion. Oh yeah, he's not the biggest one. Oh God, threw him right at my face. <laughs> Pretty sure I got mud and duck juice all over my face now. Yep, gosh, they really, it's crazy how in two weeks they've changed so much. Two weeks ago, it's hard to find one that even had half this amount of green on his head. These ones are all plumed out. Oh dude, quadruple curl. <laughs> What's that? Redhead? Kill it. Kill it. Good shot. I said I was. That is pretty you are That's pretty. Yeah. Snap down. I'm over here playing with my GoPro trying to get a new battery in it, and Redhead just snuck into the decoys. Drew smoked it. Nice. Nice streak redhead, so that's his sixth bird. All we need is one big old bull sprig in here, and uh, that'll be a heck of a hunt, or really any other duck. I'm not gonna be picky at this point. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, both drakes. Could have caught that one with a fishing net, I think. What are these on the right? <laughs> Just green heads. Yeah, I know. All green heads. I know. Now it's right up front. Oh, well, yeah. Two drakes. <laughs> Too cool. <laughs> yep. Oh, another one. I just missed him. Dang it. That was the one I was talking about. Here he comes back. Right here. Let's go. That's a pretty one. Yep. Yeah, he's real plumed out for this early. Heck yeah. He's even got the mullet. Wow. Nice. Yep. Beauty of a green wing to finish out the morning. Still got mallards working us, so we gave a call to the other guys. They're gonna try and get in here. I'm gonna try not to fall over. We'll see if we can ferry them over in kayaks or whatnot. Hope you enjoyed that video. I'm gonna get into the band info very shortly. Really cool where this bird came from. But before I do that, I have a giveaway that I wanna do. I'm gonna be giving away one of these DRC squeaker tweaker stamp it forward calls. Um, the way to enter the giveaway is all you gotta do is like the video and leave a comment on it. Uh, if you don't know what to comment, I'd appreciate hearing what kind of videos you wanna see more of this season. If you wanna see more little trips like this out to North Dakota, other places, more kayak hunts, more jump shooting, more field hunts, anything. Uh, if you have a specific state you wanna visit, leave in the comment section. But uh, I really wanted to support the Stamp Afford Initiative. I was actually gonna buy one of these calls for my own lanyard, but I already have a squeaker tweaker on there that I really like blowing. So I figured I'd rather give it to one of y'all. If you've never heard of Stamp It Forward, it's an initiative that's run by Sam Solholt. He buys a bunch of federal duck stamps every year and then gives them away with every item that's sold on his website, which is publiclandtees.com. And 98% uh, of the money from all federal duck stamps goes right back into conservation. So 
it's a really cool conservation initiative and something I wanted to support. But band info got really cool one here. I've always wanted to shoot a duck band. It was an absolute dream come true. And uh, really glad that I got this one. It's a really cool one for the first one. Uh, he was actually banded on Mud Lake WMA in Wisconsin last year as a juvenile. So he's a one-year-old bird. My thinking is he went f went down the flyways last year, uh, paired up with a hen, and then followed her up back to North Dakota or somewhere north of there. Um, typically, you know, the drakes just follow the hens wherever they want to go. So I think he just basically switched flyways because of her and uh, her coming into the decoys got him in trouble. I'm assuming that was the same hen he was with in the video. Uh, but yeah, like I said, awesome hunt. I really couldn't have asked for anything better to shoot my first duck band on. Really fun little two-man shoot with my buddy Drew in an absolutely incredible spot. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd really appreciate if you click that subscribe button. And if you have any questions about the hunt, leave it in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Hope everybody out there is staying safe. God bless and thanks for watching.